The top of your touchscreen display is lined by the status bar. In addition to seeing the correct time and date here, you will also see notification icons. These icons appear, for example, if Do Not Disturb is enabled, you've missed a call, or if you have a new voicemail. Below the status bar, you will see the informational section. This area of the phone populates when you're on a phone call. The first button on your phone on the top left is called the line key. Here you should see your extension assigned to your phone set. If you have more than one line assigned to your phone, they will all be numbered after the first. Everything else on the screen may be customized. It's very likely that when you first receive your phone, you will notice that there are many open spots or buttons available to program. Tap the More button on the bottom right to expose the middle columns of buttons. These can be programmed as helpful quick dials. Finally, the bottom area of your dynamic screen will show you soft keys. When you're not already on a phone call, these keys will show you helpful quick icons for Do Not Disturb, History, Menu, and Directory. When you are on a phone call, this area of the phone will populate with in-call options. To switch your audio mode to headset, press the headset button on the bottom right. The mute button will silence your side of the phone conversation while you're on a call. Press it once to enable the feature and again to disable it. The bottom right button on your phone is the speaker button. Press this to engage the speaker phone and talk to your callers hands free. Finally, the plus and minus sign at the bottom of your phone will be used to turn the volume up or down. When you're not on a phone call, use these buttons to adjust the volume of your ringer. When you are on a phone call, the plus and minus sign will be used to turn your volume up and down for the current audio mode you're using, such as headset, handset, or speaker mode. To make a call, use your preferred audio mode, handset, speaker, or headset, then dial the phone number or extension of the party you wish to reach. If this is an internal person, simply use their extension. If this is an external party, outside of your local calling area, dial 1 plus the 10 digit phone number to reach them. While receiving an incoming call, your phone will ring and you will see the incoming caller ID show up on your informational section of the phone. Additionally, the soft keys at the bottom of your screen will change. To answer that incoming call, you can lift the handset or press speaker or headset button to use your preferred audio mode for that call. Additionally, you can tap the answer soft key or blinking line key to answer the incoming call as well. While on a phone call, the person's caller ID will remain on your screen, as well as a timer letting you know how long you've been speaking with them. If you're already on one call and another call comes in, you will hear a call waiting tone and see the incoming caller ID on the phone screen. Additionally, the soft keys beneath the phone call will change as well. It's very simple to answer the second call and put the first call on hold. All you need to do is tap the answer soft key beneath the call. With this one simple tap, you will put your first call on hold and answer the second. You may then go between the calls by selecting a call, then tapping the relevant soft key beneath it. So for example, while on a phone call and another call on hold, to switch between them, tap the held call, then tap the resume soft key. While you're already on a phone call, there are several features that will be available to you, the first of which is hold. When you place the caller on hold, you will be putting them on hold on that line only. So if you've accepted a call to your personal extension and hold the call, it will only be held on your extension. 
rather than being shared with other phone sets. To place a call and hold, simply tap the hold button beneath the live call. Alternately, you may also use the hold function key on the bottom right of the phone. The result will be the same. While a call is on hold, you can resume that call from the same device by tapping the resume button beneath the held call. You may park calls on any valid extension. While you're on a phone call, tap the more button beneath the call until you see the park option. Tap park and then follow the instructions to park the call on your extension or someone else's. To retrieve a call from your phone or any other, pick up the phone and then tap the retrieve button on the touchscreen. Alternately, you can dial star 88 with the same result. After you've initiated the retrieve function by tapping the retrieve key, you can then input the extension where the call is parked, followed by pound. While on a phone call, you can send your call somewhere else by transferring it. There are two different ways to transfer a call. The first is direct and the second is announced. A direct transfer sends a call quickly and immediately somewhere else without announcing them. Whereas, of course, the announced transfer gives you the opportunity to talk privately to the receiving party. To perform a direct transfer, which is also known as a blind transfer, start by tapping the transfer button beneath the call. This will put your call on hold behind the scenes. Input the phone number or extension where you'd like to send the call to, and then tap B transfer to complete the transfer. Remember, when you perform a direct transfer, you will be sending the call you were on somewhere else immediately. You can also do a direct transfer directly into an extension's voicemail box by dialing star 90 before the extension. For example, while on a phone call, if I'd like to send the caller directly into extension 1000's voicemail box, I'll tap transfer, dial star 90, 1000, then finish by pressing B transfer. The second method of transferring is called an announced transfer. Many people prefer this way to transfer because it allows you to talk privately with the receiving party before you give them the transfer call thus allowing you to pass on any important information and making sure that they're available for the transferred call. While on a phone call, to perform an announced transfer, tap the transfer button beneath the call, input a phone number or extension that you'd like to send the call to, and then simply wait for them to answer while the first call remains on hold. When the third party answers, you'll be speaking with them privately. If they can take the call, end by tapping transfer. The final in-call option available is called conference. This is a three-way phone call, meaning you can speak with two other parties simultaneously so that all three of you can hear each other. While on a phone call, you will see the conference button show up beneath the call. Tap conference, input the phone number or extension that you'd like to bridge into the call, and then wait for that third party to answer. When they do, you'll be speaking with them privately. If they can join the call, tap conference to join the calls together. If the third party could not join the call, tap end call to hang up on the third party instead. If voicemail has been enabled on your account, you can manage your messages and listen to new ones by pressing the message key on the bottom right of your phone set. New voicemails will be indicated both in the status bar area and on the top right of the phone set through the voicemail message waiting indicator light. To access these new voicemails or manage your greetings, press the message key on the bottom right of the phone. If you've recently missed a call, the phone's status bar area will notify you with the missed call icon. To access a list of the most recently dialed, received, and missed calls, 
tap the history icon in the soft key area. This pulls up a list of the most recently dialed calls. You can navigate this by pressing the up and down navigational buttons or using the touchscreen display. To add entries to your local phone's directory, tap the directory soft key on the primary display. The directory feature will allow you to add your own contacts. The do not disturb feature when enabled will send all incoming calls directly to your voicemail box without ringing your phone first. To enable do not disturb, tap the DND icon in the soft key area. To disable this feature, tap the DND button again. Outbound calls may be made normally, only incoming calls to your extension or direct number will be sent to your voicemail box.